Hello and welcome. This time we want to talk about the control loop. We're going to develop a transfer function of the control loop. Okay. Let's start with the block diagram. Please remember we had here the control system. Here we had the controller. Here I will specify the control element. And here We got a measuring device. The measurement. Okay. Here is an addition point. Out of the control system, there is the controlled variable. Here we have the measured control variable. Okay, might be a difference. So X. Here's the controlled variable. This is compared to the reference variable. So there is a minus here. This is the W, the reference. Out of this comparison, there is the control deviation, which is handled by the controller. So this is this is the control deviation, xt. Control deviation, okay, and the control deviation is in uh, the controller is influencing the control element. Yeah. And now I make here a second addition point, just for modeling reasons. Because here, uh, here, this was, I'm sure you remember, this was the correcting variable. Why? So, why? Correcting variable. And this is influencing here the control system. Okay. Here I will just add disturbances. Okay. So this was this set okay. disturbance. And this will be plus, this will be added. The disturbance will be added. Plus. Here the reference variable is plus and the other one is minus. This is our control loop. Okay. What usually is done, and we will do as well, that this control element yeah, will be seen as part of the controller. So this will be moved in. So the output of the controller is directly the correcting variable. And the measurement is part of the control system for us. So this means the measurement will be moved in and what we see at the output is actually the measured control variable. We assume that our measurement is good enough, that this, this assumption is valid. So what we're ending up with. Let's see. Now we have here the control system. Including the measurement. This 
output here we still call controlled variable okay. we do have the controller I will this time I will draw the controller here controller influencing the control system by the correcting variable why okay correcting variable and here I will draw here my mixing point. Here, ooh, I forgot something. Here is also a mixing point because here there is the disturbance set. It's disturbance set. This dur bands. Here we have the deviation, control deviation here we do have the reference level and down here we just have the feedback. So this is minus, this is plus here. That's our model of our control loop. Okay. Now let's assume the controller and the control system are transfer elements. So they do have they do have a certain transfer function. Controller from the control deviation to the correcting variable and the control system from the correcting variable to the controlled value. So let's draw this as transfer function. So there is the controller. There's the control system. Let's write it. This is then the transfer function f from the system and this is the transfer function from the regulator. There is the output here. This is actually y from s. So this is the correcting variable. Then there is this mixing point. And here we do it set, set from S. This is added here. The output here is X from S, of course. The controlled variable. There is the different control deviation xd from s and of course there is also the mixing point here. Here we do have the reference value w from s and here, of course, we have the feedback loop. This is minus. This is plus. This is plus. And this is also plus. That's it. 
that's the block diagram. That's the block diagram of our control loop. This is what we will use. Next video we are going to calculate transfer function. We want to see how the complete transfer function from W to X is. Yeah? And we also want to see how the transfer function, if, if there is no disturbance. Okay? And we also want to see how disturbances are influencing X. If there is no, if there is no, or continuous or flat reference level. Okay? These two trans total transfer functions we are going to calculate. This will be in next video. For now, you should remember this. That's our model of a controlled loop. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.